You are a Canadian. Yes, sir. And I don't say that in an accusing, cruel way. I yeah. say it in a very welcoming, you are a Canadian. Yeah. Uh, and uh, wonderful people. And, and hockey is so huge in Canada. This was the greatest thing. To, and, to, yes. Yeah. And so our, uh, Los Angeles, the Kings win the Stanley Cup. Yeah. And I don't know if you saw this. We actually watched on television the victory parade <laughs> for Los Angeles winning the Stanley Cup. This is real. Let's we didn't do it. anything to this. Check this out. There they are. There's They're the on cup. a bus. They've got the Stanley Cup. They're driving through the heart of downtown LA, and nobody gives a crap. Look at that. No. That's just preposterous. What? That's insane. I mean, I, you know, Toronto would be drinking and going Toronto. Free. Toronto, they would, I mean, first of all, everyone would lose their minds in Toronto. Well, first of all, I was at two of those games, at the playoffs games. It was so exciting. The Kings were brilliant. Uh, you know, and, 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 and you, you go to the dressing room and, you, and, and you're, everywhere you look, there's a, a toothless white man. You know, it's just a, <laughs> at first you think you're hosting the Country Music Awards. And then you realize, <laughs> 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 but, but I'm telling you, it was exciting. My son Oliver and my son yeah. Henry and I, we all were going crazy. Now, here's a question. 45 years or something. Well, the, the times that I have been uh, in Canada, in Toronto, or Vancouver, everybody, uh, it, I get the impression that everybody plays hockey. Every single citizen in Canada is encouraged to play hockey. That's the impression you get. Were you a hockey player? I, 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 we, we did, you know, we would freeze the backyard, and I was the youngest of five kids, and I was expected, but really I was in my attic. Weather-wise, it's such a cuckoo day. <laughs> I mean, I was performing. Uh-huh. Uh, an imaginary applause record yeah. uh, in my own world. But, I mean, I was, I was like third-string Zamboni operator. I, I, I was not. <laughs> what I about Canadian football? See, that's what I was a football fan. I didn't realize that football is quite popular. In Canadian Canada. Football League is so great. And yeah, this, is, this is a slightly better joke when there were nine teams. Now there are eight teams. Right. But what was great about when there were nine teams, there were only nine teams in the league, but two were called Rough Riders. <laughs> yeah. Two had the exact same name. They were the name. Ottawa Rough Riders and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. <laughs> so, <laughs> true. so sometimes you'd pass the TV and you'd hear, Rough Riders 28, Rough Riders 7. <laughs> <laughs> and as a little kid, you say, oh, I feel bad for the Rough Riders, but I'm like real happy for the Rough Riders. <laughs> That was fantastic. Uh, now, uh, uh, am I led to believe that recently, I read somewhere that you went, you were in Washington, D.C. Uh, at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Is that yeah. true that you went, I went to that? I went to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I was the uh, guest of the Vanity Fair table. Mm. And it was very hip. It was very hip. But I, I should not really be allowed out public because I make a series of faux pas wherever I go. And before the, the, the kind of event, and Obama's there, and Jimmy Kimmel yeah. was great, and it was a really exciting show, millions of people there. And I see my old friend Richard Kind. You know Richard Kind? Yes, I do know actor. Richard Kind, yes. And he's a very funny actor, and we had done the film Clifford together, and, and, and he's a hilarious man. And, and I see him, we're talking, and I'm joking with him. And then there's an after party afterwards, and I see him standing there talking to George Clooney. So I go up to the, this is a couple hours later, I go up to him and I put my arms around him and say, Ooh, Papa's gained a little weight. <laughs> and I turn around, and it's not Richard Kind. <laughs> It is David Axelrod, the chief of staff. Of a White House chief of staff. Papa you can do. got a little heavy. Oh, Papa got a little. Oh, hi, sir. Nice. To see. You know, I listen. I, I once met uh, when, when he was 77 years old. I was at this Hollywood party, and, and, and I'd never met him. And he was my total idol, Frank Sinatra. You he's, met Frank Sinatra. I met Frank Sinatra, wow. and he's standing beside a bar like this, perfect Sinatra. He's like this, with a drink in his hand. And I go up to him and I say, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Sinatra, hello. Um, my, my, my name's Martin Short, and I, I just have to tell you, you have no idea, you have no concept of how big a fan I am of yours. And he looked at me and said, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what are you drinking, kid? And I went, oh, whatever you're drinking, Frank. And then he turned to the bartender and said, Jack Daniels. And the bartender said, straight up or on the rocks. But I was nervous. I thought he said, straight up or relaxed. <laughs> so I said, I'll have it relaxed. And Frank said, he said, straight up or on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so I already, I, I now had known Frank 15 seconds and I pissed him off. You had annoyed and him. I thought soon he'd go for the gun and shoot the, the sad albums anymore. So, so, you know, I just slinked off into the night. I'm glad you survived that yeah. encounter.